Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Uh, welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's Thursday, or close enough. Uh, you can find me at Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Um, tell me your stories. I'd like to hear them. Um, we got lots of fun stuff going on today. Today I have None of Your Business Peanut Butter Stout. Uh, it's by the Armory. Um, uh, it comes to us because uh, Jim Rudd asked if I would do a thing on this. Uh, so here it is. I went and found this at Horrocks, and uh, you can too, because I think they still got some of these left. If I remember right, these are delicious, and I will enjoy drinking it for you. Uh, creamy peanut butter milk stout. Stout with natural flavors, brewed and packaged by Grand Armory Brewing Company, Grand Haven, Michigan. Contain peanuts and lactose. Please drink responsibly. 5% alcohol by volume. Should be good stuff. Here we go. Not sure how old this beer is, because some of the ones that they have there that are like this are older. They sit around for a little while. That looks delicious. Um, if I remember right, the first time that I had this beer was a long time ago. Um, and that's probably the story I'll tell you about it. Uh, but it should be a peanut butter stout, so it should taste like peanuts, and it should be dark. Dark, obviously. You can see a little bit of a, a brown tinge there to the, uh, to the head on that, so maybe that's what that's from. Doubtful, but maybe. So I'll give this one a shot. Uh, dark and um, caramely, actually. Tastes a lot like caramel. Actually, this is exactly like what I remember it being. Uh, delicious. It's completely delicious. This is great stuff. Um, tastes like a, uh, a stout with some um, peanut brittle. It's like, but it's like a deep peanut brittle, like burnt a little bit. Delicious. Uh, what does this remind me of? Uh, so far as beers, uh, there's one that they do with uh, with marshmallow that's just like this. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of that, but the fluffer nutter is thicker. I mean, there's marshmallows in that one too, so surprise. But yeah, this is real good. I like it a lot. Um. Is there a story that this reminds me of? Um, yes, this reminds me of a story, actually. Uh, I think the first time that I had this, I decided to take a trip up to uh, up to Mackinac to see the bridge at, sun, at sunrise. Because I used to work nights, and it would be easiest to get there at sunrise than at sunset. Uh, so I drove up there. I had to stop for gas twice on the way home, or on the way up there, and then on the way home. I stopped at Gaylord both times. I uh, stopped at the Meyer there because it's a pretty good spot to stop, and I needed gas, and I needed to pee, and I don't know, I guess I wanted a beer. So I stopped in and looked, and it was good. It was a good deal. Um, they had a lot of really good beers there that I did not see ever at my Meyer, so I picked one of these guys up and it was delicious. That was before I was doing this. Um, so I didn't write it down, but also or I didn't post it for everyone to see, but I was also doing untapped. So this is definitely going to be an untapped for sure, which just means I have to do something that I haven't had before on untapped tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Thursday, and it is New Deeper Thursday. Except today, I'm posting this, which is fine. Um, this is not new, but this is delicious. So yeah, that was kind of fun. Really super weird, though. Because that was a vacation that I was taking that was unpaid. Because um, I broke a high-low. Well, one of the fork truck things that we use in the back of our of our stores. 
Yeah, and then I came back and everything was okay, except for the fact that I then had to find a, pot, a place to go to after that, because um, they were downsizing the, uh, the management in the stores. But there's a place for me, and I have loved my time in Elma, so not the worst thing ever. But my... <laughs> My boss was a little bit scared for me. Um, her counterpart, uh, the the foods guy, decided that I was good enough to get to to stick around, which is kind of awesome because that dude terrified me. I don't, don't even really know if terrified is the right word because I don't know. He just he didn't seem to like me, um, but which is strange because people like me um, and. And he didn't, and I didn't understand that. Uh, come to find out, it's because he did actually like me. He just didn't think that I was living up to my potential, I think. Which is weird, because, you know, that happens a lot with people with chronic illnesses. Because there's a lot that I could be doing that I just can't do, because I'm tired, and... It, it's difficult to deal with the stuff that I'm dealing with. But he decided that I was worth it, which is awesome. And some, and then I can be somebody else's problem. But I do my job well, and he was okay with me sticking around, which is... Which made me feel kind of bad for not liking him, and also made me feel good, because he does like me. <laughs> But yeah, the bridge. It was really super pretty in the morning, but it was not the pictures that I was expecting to get. Because it was springtime. So I was kind of hoping for more of a uh, a sunrise picture. But I would have had to been in in uh, on the other side of the bridge for that. And like super on the other side of the bridge because it was way in the south. The sun was still way in the south. Way in the south. Because... It was. I have to do it like in in the summertime if I really wanted the pictures that I wanted. There were a couple. Of, I got a couple of really good ones, but just not the same there. I think the best sunrise photos that I took was in were in Port Austin. Um, that's over near the Thumb, um, on like the twentieth or something like that of of March when, you know, it was rising right up in, in the East. And it was, it was pretty cool actually. <sighs> All right. That's the beer. Uh, I got a quote for you. Um, my quote is from Sir Alexander Fleming. He's the guy that discovered penicillin. Uh, he said, The unprepared mind cannot see the outstretched hand of opportunity. So if you're not ready to hear the, uh, the information that you're being told, you're probably not ready to do whatever it is that they're telling you should, you should be doing. And I feel this a lot lately. So yeah, that's my show. Um, don't forget, you can find me on Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Tell me your stories. Um, I'll get back with you when you got time for a beer.